Hi everyone, it's the Canny Crafter and I am here with just a quick anniversary card is what it is going to be but it could be for Valentine's Day, it could, I mean if you put any sentiment on it it could be a Christmas card if you want it to be. Um, so I was browsing through Pinterest because I didn't really have any ideas and one thing that came up was a shaker card. So I thought, ooh, shaker card. I have sequins and I have these little tiny seed beads. I got these from Poundland last Christmas, but I know you can, you can get them off Amazon, eBay, probably believe it, Etsy. So the first thing I want to do is make a front. So I just have a bug standard card blank. So you want to make a front for this. So I have this like, um, it's almost like a linen type part and I've just, I pulled out my scrap, my bag of card scraps. So first of all, let's cut this down to fit. So I'm going to come in so it has a nice border and actually so it fits nicely in this embossing folder. So excuse this, it may squeal. I'm yet to figure out how to prevent the squealing. Okay. So yep, that fits nicely there. Eh? I just got a little pencil mark I want to get rid of. There we go. Oops, knocked my light. So to give it some dimension, I, oh, I was hoping to get three out of this. I don't think I will. We might, okay. What should we do first? Should we cut this form down? And this is just craft form and I think I got it from the kiddies section. But we're just going to cut it a bit smaller than the card because we don't want it peeping out. Now I may need two of these, I don't know. I don't know if I have enough for two of these or my other bits of white form are scraps. I think it'll be alright. Okay, so I'm just going to stick these together with some washi tape if I can find the end of it. Oh there. Okay so I'm just gonna take off some of the stick. Okay I lost the end. There. First time I've done a shaker card like this, so it's, it's, it's all a bit of trial and error. So then I think I'm also going to hold my heart in place. They will cut out together. Moment of truth. Yes, I do have some washi tape residue there. It just rubs off. Try it with a rubber actually. Okay. They can go to one side for something else. Just trying to line them up as midge, but it doesn't have to be precise. Yeah. There's some more hearts we can put aside for something else. 
I'm going to leave the third half in the middle and the opposite side. Now what has happened, which I didn't take into account, was that form is now squished very flat. Mm, it's not too bad, but I do think it is going to need a second. The second sheet. Oh, we're not going to have the deck. I don't have a second sheet, do I? Oh, well, that. This will work. This will work. Just as if by magic. See if this is going to work. No, because that form is not sticking to anything. Hmm. You should just feel it settle into those grooves. So let's see if this will work. Yes, it works. Again, you should just feel it settle in. shouldn't have used pink washi tape. <laughs> but you know what we can do? We can go around with some pink ink. <laughs> so next, we're going to run this through the embossing border. have some embossed hearts and I am just going to come in with my pink ink let's see if we can rectify some of this make it look a bit more intentional like it's a two-tone pattern so the next thing I want to do is glue my two bits of foam together and for this I'm going to use some three in one I've just found um, the foam soaks up the PVA so just want to get around all of the edges in all of the gaps Okay, and let's line this up. I've got some struggly bits here. Okay, now let's 
line these up best we can. That's the thing, the form is very malleable. Malleable? Pliable. One of those words. Okay, so I'm going to cut this larger form down to the smaller form. So definitely the too thick form is better. So this will assemble like this. But between that we need acetate. I don't have acetate. So what I have done is, I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is just an empty laminating pouch and I've just ran it through the laminator so it just sticks to itself. So let's put this the same size as the foam. So obviously you could use in um, the plastic from packing material if you have any. So the next thing I want to do is stick my foam, I understand that it's white on white on white on white with a bit of clear in it and it's a bit hard to see. I'm going to stick my foam to my card and I'm going to get it as central as I can. So again, three in one, same process, we want to get to the edges, round everything, because we don't want to lose any of our sequins or beads from the shaker. And I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw shakers, I found them very intimidating. And there's been a lot of trial and error. I've tried double-sided tape. I've tried double-sided foam tape. You can get kits and everything. But this is this is what I've found works best for me. So I'm gonna flip that over. Get rid of the the strands, and we want to put that middle, middle, middle. And we want to just let that dry off a bit. Before... <coughs> Excuse me. Will then I get a drink? Excuse me. And I want to dry that off a bit before we apply any gems. So what we can do next is, what am I trying to say? Apply the acetate to the back of the front of the card, so our outermost layer. And again, I'm just going to use the three and one for this. And I do believe the same one is worth its weight in gold and I say worth its weight in gold because the price seems to be going up and up and up and up and up <laughs> so if you find that a reasonable price bulk buy it okay we may get some squidging through to the other side yep a little bit let's pull in a bit of tissue just wipe it off before it dries. Sometimes you need to just scratch at it a bit with your nail. Like that. I'm gonna bring it over. really quick. I think it's because the heating's on. Okay so I just want to make sure that everything is going to line up 
beautiful. Okay, so these sequins I did get from Amazon. Just gonna sprinkle them into the center. bring in our seed but I call them seed beads might be called something else I just think they look like little seeds and just a lot of our hearts and I did actually make a Christmas present with these last year I sold them and it was very laborious. I never know how much is enough with shakers. You know that? Until it's too late. So we now want to add our final layer. So I'm just going to go to the edge of the laminate because I know that is the same size as our foam. And again around the hearts. Now the fun part of trying to line it all up. Got a little bit of condensation. Oh no! Well that was inevitable. Ah. There was me trying to save the plastic and I ruined it instead. Okay. when I put it through the embossing folder it might have distorted the hearts a bit and I think fractionally it has but not too bad oh, I'm gonna lift this without Wee. okay so I think now we need a sentiment okay so I was gonna stamp it and I thought mm, then I was gonna hand write and I thought no so I remembered I, I, I bought myself a Cricut so remember that came with the pen just so I could write something neat. <laughs> so now is the job of trying to cut it out neat. Already filled out the first hurdle. And the front I used for this is DTC Sahara Smooth. I do currently have um, access. I'm still on the free trial. So I don't know if that's available. Hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, that's on the access. So you would have to pay for that. Okay, that blends a bit too much. So I'm going to put it on this, like a peachy card stock. I am just going to use some put stick. Cut that out. I'm never going to have to hand write anything again. <laughs> And do I want to mount? I think I am. I'm going to mount that with some foam square rectangle things.
Well, I think I'll do one in the middle. So that is it. A sugar card. So pretty. It's a little bit thick, but it stands up because I was really, really being fun heavy. So there we have it. I think my little beads might be escaping. But yeah, the top's looking a little bit empty. But there you are. The bottom part will be nice and full. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.